Before we get started, I ask that you guys gather any supplies you may need here today. Maybe some water, maybe dollar lights if that feels good for you. Light your, diff your diffuser or light a candle. And we're gonna find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose and just find our bodies simply relaxing and going inward for the next one minute. Simply taking nice natural breaths, winding our mind and our bodies down for our practice here today. Well, I ask that we all find ourselves in, a, in an easy seat. Sitting with our, maybe we can start with our left foot crossed over our right leg. Noticing how that feels. As we gaze downward towards the earth, we'll close our eyes if that feels good. With our tummies nice and tight and our spinal cord nice and long. Allowing our shoulders to relax down away from our ears. As we breathe our palms at heart center. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Noticing how that feels. As we sit in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we allow our facial muscles to completely relax, our chin is relaxed. Our face, our forehead is completely relaxed. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath, Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe we notice how the breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths with our eyes still gaze down, our bodies are becoming more centered, more present, more aware of this moment. And as we do our practice here today, we may hear sounds, we may hear distractions, and may we take notice of what is going on around us without judgment simply being aware, only allowing in the things that are soothing and comfortable for your practice here today. As we breathe our palms above our head in our seated salute, our fingertips reach up towards the ceiling as we feel that stretch, spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are, reach, are reaching up towards our ears, feeling that stretch, breathe in deeply, Exhale, seated twist, right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. Our core is nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Exhale, back to center, coming into our seated star. Our palms are off towards the side, breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Our spinal cord is getting nice and warm here. As we're gazing over that shoulder, we're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into our seated salute, breathing our palms up in the air, feeling that stretch. Exhale, bringing our palms downward towards our shoulders. Our fingertips are relaxing on our shoulders as we rotate our shoulders towards the back. 
spinal cord is nice and long. Our tummies are nice and tight. Nice, slow rotations, noticing how this feels in your body. We are taking the time to slow our mind and our bodies down here today. Two more breaths. As we find our pause and rotate our shoulders forward, nice natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, and we're gonna straighten our arms out towards the side. Our arms are out, our palms are downward towards the earth, or you can bring your palms up, whatever feels good for you. As we rotate our arms forward, feeling the shoulder rolls here, the arm rolls, I'm sorry. And we can go as slow or as fast as we choose to go in this very moment. And you may notice already that our arms are starting to feel nice and tired. Sometimes we don't have to do big motions to have an impact on our body. Noticing how we feel. Two more breaths. As we find our pause and rotate towards the back, keeping our core nice and tight. Noticing how our arms are already starting to burn and we're not even really doing much. All it takes is a little bit to have an impact. Three more breaths. As we take a breath and relax our arms, our palms are connecting to the earth with our fingertips feeling the energies and the vibrations of our environment, of our environment. May we lean our bodies towards the side, coming into a side bend, right side. Our left arm comes over our head. Our right shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Keeping in mind to keep our core nice and tight. Four more breaths. Exhale into center, bringing both palms to the earth. As we allow our bodies to lean to the opposite side, as that arm comes over our heads, feeling that side bend, our left shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to completely relax. Two more breaths. Exhale in the center, both of our palms are on the earth. As we breathe our palms back up above our head and our seated salute, fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch, breathe in deeply. Arms are up nice and tight, nice and high. As we exhale to a seated twist, right side, feeling that spinal cord, relax here. Exhale and back to center, palms are in the air and our seated star, breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Exhale and back to center, palms are in the air. Nice deep breath. Exhale, seated twist, right side. Exhale and back to center, we are in our seated star, breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder. As we come back to center, coming into our seated star, breathing our palms to our seated salute. Exhale to our seated prayer, relaxing our bodies. Shoulders are relaxed down, away from our ears. Bodies relaxed, minds relaxed. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. As we flow our feet in front of us, coming into a staff pose. Our feet are parallel side by side. <sighs> Noticing how this feels. As we breathe our palms up to our seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. As we hinge at our hips, reaching downward towards our ankles or touching the lower parts of our feet. Noticing how this is a complete body stretch here. Our chest, our torso is relaxing downward towards our legs. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Allowing our torso to relax down. 
taking nice natural breaths. Noticing how with each breath, our bodies go closer towards our thighs. And we're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale up to a half forward fold, chin slightly up, noticing how this feels. Breathing back up to our staff pose. Oh, taking a nice relaxation here. Two more breaths. As we come more on our buttocks, and we're gonna work and play around with a boat pose variation here, connecting our feet towards our hands. Our feet are in our hands with our core tight. We notice that our bodies are balancing here. And if all feels well, we can bring our left foot out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation. You may feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Noticing how this feels, and if all feels well, maybe straighten out that right leg. Both of our legs are out. We are now in our boat pose variation. A lot of people like to call this a bear pose as well. And our bodies are balancing here with our core tight. Maybe we can bring our legs further apart if that feels good for you. Noticing how that feels in your body. Or maybe we can bring our legs closer together. Simply noticing the difference between the two, being aware of how it feels within your body. And may you find pause in any position that feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Keeping our core tight. Two more breaths. Breathing in nice and deep. Exhale and our feet coming into a bear position. We are in our butterfly pose. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our torso. If this is too much pressure on our hips, we can come into a diamond pose, which is when our feet is slightly further away from our bodies. Maybe try in both positions and noticing how each feel within your body and doing a pose that feels best for you. As we allow our hands to touch our feet or our ankles, and we're gonna hinge at our hips, coming into a seated butterfly or forward fold. Coming into a seated butterfly or diamond forward fold. Allowing our torso to come down towards the earth. You're gonna feel it inside of your inner thighs. This here is a nice hip opener. With our eyes gaze down the natural breaths, noticing how our bodies come closer to the floor, to the earth, with each breath. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, we are back in our diamond or our butterfly. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows by allowing our chest to come upward. Our chin comes slightly in the air. We are in our cow. As we exhale to our cat, our chin comes towards our clavicle. Our spinal cord goes to the back of the room. And we're gonna do a couple of seated cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna bring our legs into a cow face. Maybe taking the left leg over top of the right leg here in our cow face. Noticing how that feels. Both of our feet are kind of backwards towards our buttocks in our cow face. For those who don't know how to get into it, if we come into a staff pose, We'll take the right foot and bring it underneath our leg, coming towards our buttocks. And then we'll take the left foot, cross it over and bring it towards our buttocks. And now we are in our cow face, positioning our bodies to feel comfortable, noticing how this feels. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, feeling that stretch, exhaling down to prayer, relaxing the body. We're gonna hang out here, two breaths, noticing how we feel. And for those who choose, maybe go into a full cow face by bringing our hands behind our backs. 
maybe we can start with the right side, bringing the right arm up in the air and allowing our right hand to come to the back near our shoulder blades and taking that left hand and bringing it underneath and interlacing our hands together. We are in our full cow face. For those who choose, if we choose not, we can stay in our prayer hands or we can do our cow face salute, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here with our hands interlaced if they are. We are relaxing and we are opening up our shoulders here. Three more breaths. I'm interlacing our hands and we're gonna breathe our palms above our heads coming into that salute pose. Interlacing our fingers together, maybe bringing our chest forward and our hands come slightly towards the back. We are in a slight back bend here. Noticing how this is a counter stretch. It is relaxing our arms and our shoulders. Two breaths. Exhaling out, relaxing the body. Maybe doing a couple of shoulder rolls, noticing how this feels. And in our Sage Marici, if our left foot is on top, we're gonna take our left leg and place our left foot flat on the earth. We're gonna work on a lower of the fish pose. So we went from a cow face I'm sorry, yes, we went from a cow face and now we're gonna come to a lord of the fish. Our left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna take our right arm, place it behind our backs. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, let's start with the left. Taking the left arm, place it behind our backs, yes. And that right arm, place it over that left knee and we're gonna gaze over that left shoulder. This is a nice back bend. As we're gazing over that shoulder, Maybe our eyes are closed or gaze down. And we feel our spinal cords relaxing and soothing it. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, coming back into that cow face. Noticing how we feel. And we're gonna reverse our cow face. We're gonna switch legs now, putting that right foot over top and the left foot is down the bottom. And then our cow face, we're gonna come back to our salute. Breathing our arms above our heads, palms are up. Exhale into our prayer. And this time we're not gonna go into our full cow face. We're simply gonna take our right foot and place it flat on the earth. And we're gonna work on our lower of the fish pose opposite side. Taking our right hand and placing our right hand behind our back. And our left elbow goes over that right knee and we're gonna gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling that stretch. Noticing how this feels in our spinal cord with our eyes closed. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, relaxing the body. We're gonna straighten our legs out, coming back into a staff pose. Bodies are nice and tall as we breathe our palms up above our heads, salute. Exhale the prayer. Hanging at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold. Noticing how this relaxes our thighs, our legs. With our eyes closed, we're gonna hang out here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we come into a half forward fold, coming back to our staff pose, relaxing our bodies. And the pose we're gonna do next is gonna be a Sage Marici pose, and it is kind of similar to the Lord of the Fish pose. And how we start that is we take our, we're gonna start on the right side, taking our right leg, knees in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. And you're gonna notice that this is very similar to the Lord of the Fish pose. We're gonna take our right arm lifted up in the air, lean our bodies to the left, lean forward, and take our right arm and wrap it around our right knee. We are in our Sage Marici. 
And for those who want to go deeper, we can take this left hand and wrap it around our, our backs and interlace our fingertips. Noticing how this feels. Maybe our chest is slightly up. Maybe we are leaning downward towards the earth. Maybe we want to bring our knee inward towards our bodies. Maybe play around with all and see which one feels best for you and your body. We're going to hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're gonna unwrap that knee, coming back into our staff pose. As we come into our seated salute, exhale to prayer, and we get our hips coming into that forward fold. Two more breaths. Exhale to half, Coming back to our staff. And we're going to Sage Marici opposite side, taking that left leg, knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to take our left arm, lift it up in the air, lean our body slightly to the right, come forward. We're going to wrap this left arm around that left knee. We are in our Sage Marici. And if we want to go deeper, we can take this right hand and bring it behind our backs and interlace our fingers. And we could play around here in our Sage Marici with our bodies up, with our bodies down. We can bend this leg inward if that feels good for us. Or maybe just play around and see which one feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace our fingers, we're gonna unwrap that leg, flowing back to our staff pose. We're gonna hinge at our hips, reaching down towards our ankles or connecting our hands towards our feet, feeling that full body stretch here. With our eyes gazed down, we're gonna allow our torso to relax closer towards our thighs, taking nice natural breaths. Noticing how when our heart chakra connects to our thighs, it soothes. It relaxes, it centers. Three more breaths. As we exhale to our half, coming back up to our staff pose. As we come back into our butterfly, bringing our knees, our feet together, we are in our bound position. We're gonna do a couple of cat cows here. What we are doing is we are warming up our spinal cord. Soothing our back muscles here. As we find our paws, we're gonna come into our tabletop position. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Our tummy, our core, is nice and tight as we drop down to our cow. Back is sunk and chin is slightly up as we flow into our cat. Maybe taking notice of how our bodies feel when we do a seated cat cow to a tabletop cat cow. And we're gonna do a couple of these cat cows to our natural breath. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are back in our table and we're gonna do a sunbird pose. We're gonna start on the right side, bringing our left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch nice and high. And if anyone has any issues or if anyone chooses to, we can lower those toes downward towards the earth, noticing how that feels in the body. If not, we can keep that leg high in the air. With our core tight and our balance is now complete, we're gonna bring that left arm forward, coming into that full sunbird pose here. Gazing forward, we don't want to overextend our necks. So gazing forward, keeping our tummies tight, still in our bodies balancing here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. 
as we breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, holding it, flowing back to bird. Knee to elbow, back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in three seconds, three breaths, feeling that crunch. Exhale to bird. As we flow to our table, we're gonna drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. We are back in neutral as we sunburn opposite side. We're gonna bring that left leg towards the back. Gathering our balance here. And if we choose, we can lower our left toes down. We can, left, we can lower our toes down towards the earth if that feels good. Once we gather our balance, we are going to extend that right arm forward. We are in our full sunbird pose here. Tummy's tight, gazing forward. Natural breath. As we breathe in deeply, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow. We're gonna hold it in, feeling that crunch. Three more breaths. Exhale back to bird. As we come back to our neutral, we're gonna flow down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. We are back in our table. We're gonna come into a thread the needle, starting on the right side. We're gonna bring that right arm off to the side if we choose before we thread that right arm through our left. Our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth with our eyes closed. We're gonna find our bodies relaxing here. And for those who choose, you can take that left arm and wrap it around your back. Mm. Allowing our shoulder blades to relax forward. Our bodies are completely relaxed. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths, mind and body is relaxed. As we unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, flowing back to the table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to cat, back to neutral. As we thread the needle opposite side, left arm goes out if you choose before we thread it through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. And if we choose, we can wrap this right arm around our backs. We can also extend the arm over our head as well, if that feels good. Simply take a notice of how it feels in the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle, coming back to our table pose. <sighs> Checking in, noticing how we feel because we're gonna push our bodies up to our first down dog. Tummies are nice and tight as we gaze back at our feet. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. And if you choose, maybe you can walk your dog by pedaling your feet side by side, noticing how this feels within the body. As we find pause, we're gonna flow to a up dog. Our thighs are off the earth. Noticing how the up dog looks very familiar to a cobra. However, when we're in a cobra, our thighs are on the earth. So maybe we can flow on down to a cobra. Noticing how this is similar to the up dog. And then we have the baby cobra when our bodies are closer to the earth. So if we ever have a client who can't do an up dog, we can always give them the option to do a cobra or a baby cobra. So what we're doing is we're simply taking notice of the three different types 
as we flow back to our up dog, we are working our arms here. We're gonna breathe back down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Two breaths. Exhale to high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. We are working our arms here. We are building strength, hanging out here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale down to a low plank or a chaturanga, whatever feels good for you, hovering over that yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale to cobra or baby cobra, whatever feels good. Exhale back up dog. We are working our arms, we are building strength. Breathing back down dog. Going back to up dog. As we come down to our cobra, baby cobra, as we flow to our Sphinx pose, we are on our forearms, relaxing our bodies. We wanna ensure that our shoulders are not sunken down towards our ears. We wanna have our shoulders nice and relaxed away from the ears. Feeling this slight back then, we're gonna hang out here, two breaths. Maybe gaze our eyes down. Using the Spanx pose to relax and soothe. As we come back to our cobra, bringing our palms closer to our, our torso and push our bodies back up. We are in our cobra. As we flow to that up dog, thighs are off the earth. As we breathe back down dog, gazing back at our feet, we're gonna pedal our dog. As we flow to a three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air, nice and high. As we bend this right foot towards the left buttocks, opening up that hip, feeling that hip opener. Gazing back at our feet. And for those who choose, maybe flow into a wild thing, feeling that stretch. If we choose, yes. Feeling the body movement here. Two more breaths. Exhale back, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Coming up to up dog. Breathe, down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left legs in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Bending that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. And for those who choose, maybe flow into a wild thing. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to our down dog. Maybe drop down to our dolphin, coming on to our four arms. Walking our feet towards our torso, noticing how this feels. And our dolphin, our buttocks gets higher in the air. We are gazing back at the back of the room, noticing where we feel the pressure in the front parts, the four parts of our arms, the forearms. This pose prepare our minds and bodies for headstand. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. With our eyes, gaze down to close. Our heart chakra is melted forward into the yoga mat. May we use this moment to relax and soothe and center. As we take natural breaths, maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side in our child's pose, puppy pose. And if we are in our regular child's pose, puppy pose, maybe we can extend our arms in front of us, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. 
Our heart chakra is connected to the earth. Three more breaths. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side once more, noticing how it's opening up our hips. As we find our pause with our palms of our hands flat on the earth, we're gonna use our palms to push our bodies forward, coming into a spinal wave, using our palms to push our bodies backwards. Waving our bodies, noticing how this is soothing and relaxing our spinal cord. And may we go as fast or as slow as we choose. Maybe we can rotate our hips in some circles here, noticing how that feels. We are loosening up our bodies. We are relaxing our spinal cords. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are back into our tabletop. We're gonna push our bodies back up to that down dog. Bringing our right foot forward, we are in our runner's lunge. As we drop that back knee, coming into our low lunge. Our back knee is dropped, we are in our low lunge. Noticing how the high lunge and the low lunge flows right together. And for those who choose, maybe bring our arms up in the air, interlacing our fingers together, allowing our chest to come forward and our arms to go backwards, feeling that deep stretch. This low lunge here prepares the, the mind and the body for split. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling, coming, bringing our hands forward, framing that front foot. We are back into our low lunge, coming back into that runner's lunge. We're gonna straighten that front leg, coming into our pyramid. Our front leg is straightened as we allow our torso to relax over that leg. Eyes are closed to relax, noticing how this is a nice counter stretch here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge. Breathe back, down dog. As we gaze back at our feet, we're gonna pedal our feet, walking our dog. As we bring that left foot forward, coming into our runner's lunge, opposite side. Noticing how each side feels different, maybe feels different. And if you choose, we could drop that right knee coming into our low lunge. Breathing our palms upwards, if that feels good, interlacing our fingers. Chest comes forward, arms go to the back of the room, feeling that stretch. Relaxing the body here. Three breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot. Coming off that knee, we are back in our runner's lunge. As we straighten out that front leg, we are in our pyramid. Torso's relaxing over that thigh. Eyes are closed, body's completely relaxed here. This is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. As we bend that front knee, coming back into that runner's lunge. Exhale back, down dog. As we jump, we'll walk forward to a complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax over our thighs. Maybe we can pedal our feet here, noticing how this feels. Finding our pause for those who choose, maybe coming to a rag doll, hugging our elbows here with our hands. And maybe you choose to sway your body from side to side. Notice how that feels. Mm. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. As we come to a complete forward fold, relax in the body, breathing to a half forward fold. Exhale into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Our palms are at our side. 
<sighs> Relax in the body as we breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute. <sighs> Exhale a standing crescent moon, right side, feeling that side bend. Exhale back to standing salute. As we crescent moon, opposite side. Flowing back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center. Relax in the body. As we hand at our hips, forward fold. Coming into our chair pose. We are gonna work the lower parts of our bodies now. We are in our chair pose. Noticing how this feels. <sighs> Building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. As we twist our bodies towards the right. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist opposite side. Exhale back to center. Complete forward fold. Noticing how this forward fold is the counter pose to the position we just did. Eyes are closed. Relax in the body. As we flow to a half forward fold, coming back to our Tadasana, back to our standing salute. Exhale, standing prayer to half forward fold, to complete forward fold. As we come to down dog, walking our hands forward, we are back in our down dog. We're gonna flow to our high plank. As we come down to our no plank or chaturanga, two breaths. Come into our cobra. Upward facing dog, thighs are off the earth. Breathing down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedal on our dog, pedal on our feet. Exhale back to up dog. Breathing back down, dog. Hanging out here just for a second. We're gonna build strength in our arms with our core tight. Two more breaths. As we flow to a three-legged dog, right side. Bringing that right leg in the air nice and high. Right foot, right hand. We are back in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second as we come up to that high lunge or warrior one. We're gonna continue to build strength in our lower parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale to warrior two. Noticing how we feel it in the lower parts of our thighs. Breathe back warrior one or high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior, Two breaths. Exhale, side angle or extended side angle. Lifting that arm up in the air if you choose. Two breaths. Exhale, forward framing that front foot. Flow into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Noticing how this relaxes the body. Three breaths. In our pyramid, allowing our torso to relax over that thigh. Exhale to run this lunge, bending that front knee as we exhale back down dog. Our bodies are nice and warm here. We're probably starting to sweat and we're gonna keep on flowing. Three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg in the air. Gazing back at that foot. Left foot, left hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, as we flow up to that high lunge or warrior one. 
three more breaths here. Build in strength. Exhale, warrior two. Flowing back to warrior one. Two more breaths. Exhale, warrior two. Feeling the movements here. Reverse warrior. Exhale the side angle or extended side angle. Two more breaths. As we come forward, framing that front foot, we are back in our runner's lunge. As we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing our torso to relax over that thigh. Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Coming to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. We're in our runner's lunge as we exhale back down dog. Low into up dog. Exhale back down dog. Complete forward fold. Torsos relaxing over the thighs. Exhale to half forward fold. And we're gonna come to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. This time we're gonna come into a wide-legged Tadasana. Our legs are spreaded apart. Our feet are facing opposite towards the room. We're gonna bend our knees, coming into our goddess stance. We're gonna continue to work the lower parts of our bodies. We work the upper, then we gotta work the lower. We are in our goddess stance. Maybe we're in our cactus hands. Whatever feels good for you. Tummy's nice and tight. You may be already feeling this in your lower legs, in your quads. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale up the star. We are in our standing star. Palms are at our side. Noticing how this feels. It's a relaxation pose here. Two breaths. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale back down to goddess, bending those knees. Building the strength here, building strength. And for those who choose, maybe we can do a couple of goddess pulses. Noticing how this works the thighs, the quads even more. If you choose, up and down slightly, pulse, going deeper into this pose, firming our thighs, allowing our bodies to look good in our jeans. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale back up to star, standing star. Feeling that stretch, breathing nice and deep breaths. Now when our bodies to the next here, two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale back down to goddess. Hanging out here, two breaths. And for those who choose, maybe we can do goddess rocks, rocking our bodies from side to side now. Noticing how this goddess rock works different parts of the muscles in our legs. What we are doing is we are building strength here. We are firming, we are toning our legs. We're gonna look good in our jeans. Two more breaths. <sighs> Finding our pause. Exhale back to star. Feeling the burn here in our legs. <sighs> Feeling like a star as we're standing here. Oh, feeling great. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale back down to goddess, hanging out here in our goddess. We're just gonna stand here for a second, working out with thighs. If anyone chooses to do pulses or rocks, feel free to do so. Whatever you feel like your body needs in this moment. Freestyle, do what feels best for you. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Complete forward fold, straightening out our legs. Complete forward fold, wide-legged forward fold, wide-legged. Gazing back to the back of the room. <sighs> Noticing how this feels. Now maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side. Noticing how this is a counter stretch. We can feel it in our hamstrings. <sighs> Two 
two more breaths. Finding our pause. So we're going to do a cross body stretch here. Taking our left hand and connecting our left hand to our right foot. Yes. And our right hand's going to go behind our back. Just relaxing behind our backs like we're in a thread the needle. We're going to gaze over that right shoulder. <sighs> we are in our cross body here in the toe stretch here. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the goddess pose that we just did. This is a counter pose. Three more breaths. Mm. Exhale and back to center. Palms are on the earth. Noticing how this feels. As we cross, stretch opposite side, taking the right hand, connecting the right hand to the left foot, taking the left hand, wrapping that behind our backs. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder. Nice deep gaze, feeling that stretch. Noticing how it relaxes behind our hamstrings. Four more breaths. Two more breaths, feeling that stretch. As we exhale back to center, allowing our thighs to touch the earth, allowing our head to completely relax. And if anyone chooses, and if it's in your practice, maybe we can flow into a headstand if that feels good for you. If you choose, simply noticing how that feels in the body. Well, we can allow our bodies to come on our head, but we can keep our feet on the earth. We don't have to take our feet off the earth. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Coming back up to that goddess stance. We're gonna bend our knees one more time. Coming back up to our goddess. <sighs> We're going to have both of our hands on our thighs next to our knees. And we're going to do a goddess twist by taking our right elbow and twisting it towards our left and gazing over that left shoulder. We are now in our goddess twist. Two more breaths. Exhaling back at the center. Holding it here for two breaths. Maybe doing a couple pulses if that feels good for you. Pulsing up, pulsing down. As we goddess twist opposite sides. Left side goes towards the right. Gazing over that right shoulder. Coming back to center. One more time. Goddess twist, opposite side. Back to center. Goddess twist, opposite side. Back to center. Straightening the legs. Bending over, forward fold. <sighs> Coming down to our forearms, we're gonna flow into our dolphin here. Relaxing, bringing our legs, our feet together. We are now in our dolphin. And maybe we can walk our toes towards our torso. Gazing back at our feet. Yes, our bodies are getting nice and warm. This pose, once again, is preparing our bodies for headstand. Two more breaths. Oh, as we drop to our knees, Coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Allowing our heart chakra, our chest, to relax downward on the earth. Eyes closed. Bodies melted forward into the yoga mat. As we take this time to relax and soothe and center our bodies here today. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we take natural breaths, using the breath, using the down gaze to center and relax. Two more breaths. And 
And for those who choose, if your hands are behind you, may you extend them in front of you and walk your fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. Mm. Mm. Maybe rock your body from side to side, noticing how that feels in your hips. Mm. As we find our pause, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to do a couple of spinal waves, using our hands to push our bodies forward and push our bodies back. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. As we find our pause, crossing our feet behind us and we're going to find our bodies back into a seated position. Just for a second, we're going to do a couple of spinal twists here while we're sitting here, bringing our palms off towards the side. We are in our seated star, feeling that stretch as we breathe our palms up into our seated salute. Nice deep breath. Exhale, seated twist, right side, gazing over that right shoulder, relaxing the body. Noticing how the spinal cord is nice and warm here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we are in our seated star. Exhale to seated twist, opposite side. Breathing back to center. Hanging out here just for a second. As we come onto our backs, we're gonna come into a knee to chest position, bringing our knees in towards our chest. Hugging them in. Giving ourselves, showing ourselves a little bit of self-love here today. And maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side if that feels good for you. Using the floor to soothe and relax our spinal cord. As we find our pause and allow our knees to fall towards the left, we are in our reclined final twist. Knees to the left, right arm is off towards the side like a T. As we gaze over that right arm or gaze up towards the heavens. With our eyes gaze down or closed, allowing our shoulder blades to relax back into the yoga mat. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right, spinal twist, opposite side, recline spinal twist. Left arm goes off to the side as we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens. Eyes are relaxed. Bodies melted into the yoga mat. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, hugging our knees into our chest, we're gonna breathe our legs up in the air to our legs on the wall poles, or in our case, invisible wall. Noticing how this feels, we're gonna reach down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch, legs to body. Two breaths. Exhaling our legs back up in the air. As we come into our happy baby, allowing our knees to fall towards our chest, feet are up in the air, hands come between our thighs. As we connect to our feet, our spinal cord is melted into the yoga mat. With our eyes closed, maybe rock our bodies from side to side in our happy baby if we choose. Or maybe we can bring our feet closer towards our heads one at a time, noticing how that feels in our bodies. Or maybe we can go deeper going into a shoulder press by bringing our legs over our shoulders. Or going into a pretzel pose. Whatever you choose, we're going to freestyle in our happy baby Six natural breaths. Mm. <sighs> Three 
three more breaths. As we breathe our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose, reaching down, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Legs back up in the air, legs on the wall, bringing our knees in towards our chest, hugging them in just for a second, crossing our feet at our ankles as we flow into a boat pose. We are now in our boat pose. We are working our balance here. We are also working our core. So we can, have, we can keep our feet crossed if we choose, or we can bring our feet parallel with our hands. Or we can extend our legs all the way up. Whatever boat pose feels good for you, may you take that position. Noticing how in our boat pose, it is a balancing pose. And we can also feel it here in our core, in our abdominal muscles. Five breaths. Three more breaths. We're gonna hang out here just for a couple more seconds and we're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. Noticing how we feel that even more in our abdominal muscle. What we're doing now is we are working on flattening and tightening our core. Four more breaths. Yes, going as fast or as slow as you choose. <sighs> Building strength. We are, we are toning and firming our bodies here. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna reach down and connect our hands towards our feet. Noticing this is kind of a relaxation pose here. As we extend that left foot, we are going back into that boat pose variation. Left foot is off to the side. And for those who choose, bringing both feet out towards the side, filling it in our hamstrings. Keeping in mind that we can extend our legs further apart or we can bring them closer together. Whatever feels good for us. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we Bring our feet together. We're in our bound position. Coming into our butterfly. As we hinge at our hips, allowing our torso to relax downward towards the earth. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. We're gonna flow right on back to our backs. Using our hands if we choose to bring our knees together as we come onto our backs. Allowing our feet to be flat on the earth. We're gonna flow into a bridge pose here. Our palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Our feet are flat on the earth with our knees in the air. We're gonna use this to push our buttocks off the earth. We are now working on our buns of steel, our gluteus maximus. So pushing our buttocks up. And for those who choose, we can do pulses here, pulsing our buttocks up. Allowing our buttocks to slightly go downward towards the earth, but not touching the earth. And then coming back up. Or maybe you just want to hold the pose and hold the pulse up in the air. Feeling that gluteus maximus get nice and tight. Whatever you choose, we're going to hang out here seven breaths. And we are lifting and we are rounding our gluteus maximus. And maybe we can walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord, noticing how our hips and our chest comes higher in the air. If that feels good for you. And for those who choose, maybe we can go into a three-legged bridge by taking. I'm gonna start with my right foot and placing my right foot on my left thigh. If that feels good for you, maybe just play around with it to see how it feels. And if this feels fine, we can also straighten that leg in the air nice and high. And we can also do taps. We can tap our foot towards our thigh and lift it back up in the air. Noticing how these variations work 
and see what they do to your body. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Coming back to a regular bridge. Lifting our gluteus maximus up in the air. As we do three-legged bridge opposite side. For those who did it on the opposite side, we gotta do the other. So bringing that left foot on that right side. And if you choose, lift that leg up in the air nice and high. Keeping in mind that we can always do the taps if that feels good for us. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming back into our bridge. Lifting our buttocks in the air. In the air, we're gonna do a couple of pauses here. We're gonna work on rounding and lifting our buttocks here. So we're gonna do a bonus of five more breaths either doing pulses or simply staying up nice and high. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Untucking our shoulder blades. They were tucks, relaxing our bodies, allowing our torso to come down, bringing our knees in towards our chest, hugging them in. This is a nice counter stretch here. Allowing our knees to fall towards the left, recline spinal twist, noticing how this feels. <sighs> Exhale back to center, knees to chest. Spinal twist opposite side, knees fall to the opposite. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, bringing our knees in towards our chest, hugging them in, relaxing the body. <sighs> straightening out our legs. We are in our Shavasana just for a second. As we bring our palms above our head, we are in our full body stretch. <sighs> Bringing our hands back down towards our side and we're gonna roll onto our side. We're almost done, but just not, just not yet. We're gonna do a couple of leg stacks here or maybe we flow into a, let's flow into an alligator. We didn't do that lately. So we are on our sides, our legs are stacked on top of each other, and we have our arm above our head. So our body looks like a long L, looks like an L. We have our hand in front of us, we're gonna call this our kickstand hand. As our head relaxes on our arm, we're gonna lift our top leg off the earth. Our core is tight, our bodies are balanced here. And for those who choose, we can take this kickstand hand and bring it above our head and connect both of our hands together. Yes, now we are in our full alligator. When our hands are connected together, it creates the alligator's tail. And with our legs slightly open, this creates the alligator's mouth. And you may notice this is a balancing pose and it also is working your thighs as well as your core. Four more breaths. Two more breaths, feeling a burn here, especially in our leg. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. Relaxing the leg, closing that alligator's mouth, bringing our kickstand hand back down towards our bodies as we flip sides, just like math. What we do to one side, we must do to the other. So flipping over to the other side. We're gonna stack our legs on top of each other. We are on our hips. We're gonna extend that arm above our heads. We're gonna lay on our arm with our kickstand hand. As we catch our balance, once we feel comfortable, we can lift that leg up off the earth. And if we choose, we can bring that palm above our head and connect both palms together, creating that alligator's tail. As we feel our body's balance, and maybe we can just take a note of how when our legs are slightly closed and more open. Noticing how it works different parts of our thighs. And what this alligator pose does is it reinforces the poses that we did, especially those goddess poses 
where it will help firm and tone our legs even more. Four more breaths. We're probably already starting to feel that burn. That is a good thing in our legs. Two more breaths. As we relax that leg down, bringing our kickstand here in front of us, we're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into our Shavasana. Before we flow into our Shavasana, maybe we can bring our knees into our chest one more time and hugging them in. And allowing our knees to fall towards the left in our recline spinal twist. Just relaxing our spinal cord. A lot of people has get back pains in the winter time for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's the cold. Flowing back to center. Allowing our knees to fall to the opposite side. Final twist. Mm. Exhaling back to center. <sighs> As we straighten our legs, we are now in our Shavasana. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our feet are connected as we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our backs are melted backwards into the yoga mat. Shoulders are melted with our eyes closed. We find our minds and bodies are completely relaxed here. We are centered. We are focused. We are relaxed. As we use the next eight breaths to relax in Shavasana and silence meditation. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we keep our eyes closed, if we choose, maybe roll onto our side, finding ourselves in a fetal position. We're gonna hang out here for five natural breaths. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, and maybe we can rotate our ankles and rotate our hips, using the movements to slowly awaken our bodies. for us to come into a seated position. As we take our palm of our hand and push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find any seat that feels good for you. With our eyes gaze down, our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. 
our face is relaxed. So we breathe our palms at heart center. Continuing to gaze down or closing our eyes. Thumbs are touching our sternum. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. For as we all know, it is impossible to pour from an empty cup. We must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of others. Hence, self-care is a necessity. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care here with you today. But it truly was a pleasure. The light of me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.